All right, so today Microsoft did as they said and they released the customer preview of Windows 8. We've gone ahead and made a backup of our ASUS EP121 uh, slate. And we're going to go ahead and get started on installing Windows 8 on it just to see if we get anything a little bit better than what we ran into during the developer's preview program. Now, we're going to go ahead and go through the entire thing here. We'll speed up some of this so it, you know, you don't have to sit through the entire installation, but as you can see coming up, it looks pretty similar to what you're used to with Windows 7. You're going to have repair, install now. Some of the screens are going to be identical. Obviously, Microsoft isn't going to change everything too much, but they are going to make a few changes on here just to make things new. Uh, I imagine by the time this actually gets released to the general public and it's uh, in the hands of the consumers, a lot of these screens will definitely change and we will probably see some more interesting bits of the installer and it might actually be a little bit livelier. I know they did that with Windows 7 and also with Windows Vista when we were this early in the game. Things kind of looked the same, but once we hit the actual release, they were much different. So here we have the uh, product key. All right, so let's go ahead and get this typed in. It's the same one for everybody, so. All right, and we're ready to move along. Now we're going to do a full install here. Obviously, we don't want to do a, a install over top. Microsoft doesn't actually support that. So especially not with their uh, consumer programs here. We also notice that a lot of the update actually takes it and installs it anyway. So there's not really an update from Windows 7 to Windows 8. Uh, we'll have to wait for Microsoft to provide an actual update for this, which we imagine they're going to do anyway, even though as of right now they're saying they're not going to provide that. So now that we're finished with all that, let's see what we can do here. We can actually change our colors here, which is kind of nice. We can add red, purples, just kind of drag it through the spectrum of different colors as we set it up. I think uh, we'll go with our green, and then we'll give it a name. So now we have different wireless devices we can connect to, so we'll go ahead and get this connected. Sorry, we're going to turn you off for just a moment as we get this taken care of. Alright, now that we've connected to our wireless, we can go here and we can customize or we can use uh, Express Settings. But we want, don't want to do that, we want to go through the customization. Obviously here we want to take care of it and set everything up here, automatically install updates. These are some of the same settings that we had before. Uh, you can use the smart screen filter, check apps, files, all of that. These are uh, some of the security items. And of course we can send Microsoft information about us. So we can help improve content. No, I don't think I want to do that. Improve services by sending location data. Um, we can do the uh, URLs for web content that apps use. I'm not sure if I want to give them the information that my uh, applications go to. However, we can do this here and, and use the Active Protection Service. And again, Windows Error Reporting, we, that's going to be on by default. Latest troubleshooting fixes. Uh, let apps use my name and account? No, I don't think so, and we don't want to use the location platform for this. So the rest of it is pretty easy, uh, most of the, mostly basic stuff. And then from here, if you want to use, you can actually use one of your uh, a Microsoft account, like a Windows Live account. Pretty much the same thing that you could before with the developer's one. Or if you don't want to use that, you want to set up a local account, you can do it here. Um, we're going to go ahead and set up a local account. And again, for uh, our privacy, we're going to go ahead and get this set up. And we'll get back to you as soon as we get it typed in. All right, so we've gone ahead and we've typed everything in and we're back on, online with you here. It's gonna finish a few things up and then we're gonna get right into it. So we got our username. Of course, we can put a picture or whatever we want in, uh, in that space there. For right now, it's just gonna give us the generic mail symbol here. And uh, we'll wait for it to kick in and get us to the uh, Metro UI. Once we do that, we've got some drivers we're gonna install. We'll take a look at how things flow there. We're gonna be in touch with ASUS to see if they have any additional drivers that they're gonna be putting up on their website. I know with AMD, 
AMD had some new drivers for their uh, display adapters that were getting us in pretty quickly and those were in preparation for the developers preview. So we are all set here. Um, this is actually a cleaner look than what we saw with the developers preview. We do still have the desktop, we have mail, we have messaging, uh, Internet Explorer, and it actually looks a little bit cleaner than what we saw before. We're not getting the same lag over from where we had everything. The touch screen is still working here so we can get all of that going. Get Internet Explorer kicked in and our touch screen, the keyboard is actually running so that's pretty nice. This is actually a, a nice clean interface and one of the things that we do like is that you have options. You have a full key uh, number pad so you're not just trying to type that in at the top of your symbols. You also have your smiley faces which all of those are working. They're not going to work here obviously because you don't want to put smiley faces into your browser. So again, we're going to take a look at some things. We're going to get the rest of our drivers installed, make sure everything's working, including Bluetooth, all of that, so we can use all of the accessories and all of the functions that we had with this exactly the way we did before. Now, one of the problems that we had with this in the past was that we were not able to use the home button to get us back. There just was no way. We had to pretty much get out of it and use either control Alt, delete or escape to get us back to where we wanted to be. So we're going to take, again, Let's get everything set up and we'll get back to you. We'll take some more video and show you just exactly how this performs on this tablet.